Hello and welcome to Living Like a Local. My name is Tom. I am your Montreal expert. Valentine's Day is just a few days away. We will be going to visit uh, a true Montreal institution uh, that is perfect for Valentine's Day. And my special guest for today's episode is none other than Jordan St. James, who just happens to be my husband of 10 years. And I gave him uh, this rendezvous, this meeting point today, uh, which also is very romantic. This is where we met, and I'm going to be taking him to a true Montreal institution to help celebrate uh, this most romantic of days. And here he is right here. Hi, George. Hello. How are you? So, do you have any idea what I have in store for us today? No clue. Okay, so we're going to be going somewhere uh, that really has a link to Valentine's Day. Let's just go. All right. All right. I look forward to it. Let's go. So, do you know where I'm taking you now? Well, I'm guessing Chocolat André. We're going to Chocolat André. This place is an institution. It's been around since the 1940s. And uh, we're going to go in, check it out, and try a few chocolates. Wonderful. Sound good? Can't After wait. you. Thank you. When a specialty shop lasts the test of time, it is a testament not only to the quality of their products, but to the place they hold in the heart of the community. Chocolat André was founded by Madeleine Daigneault and her sister Juliette Ferrand. Today, Madame Ferrand's granddaughter, Stéphanie, stays true to the traditions that make this place and their chocolate so special. So here we are at André Chocolat. This is a true Montreal institution. It has been around since 1940, and I'm lucky here to be with the owner, Stéphanie, who actually grew up here. She used to be babysat in the back room by the employees. They would help her with her homework, and now she's running the place. So hi, Stéphanie. Hi, nice how are you? Nice to meet you. Very good, thank you. Good. Thanks for having us. Can you tell us a little bit about some of your chocolates? All of our chocolates are uh, handmade. We make our creams, our caramel, and we also hand dip them. Um, the hand dipping enables us to sign every uh, chocolate differently. So they all have basically a little trademark or their name uh, that enables us to uh, identify them. So your grandmother started the place, correct? Yes, in 1940 with her sister, uh, Madeleine and Juliette and uh, they basically had to work to support the family. They used um, European recipes for the caramel, the creams. And, and the technique is also is very absolutely. European. Absolutely, it's very, very European. Montreal is really lucky to have a shop like this that still exists. Which one is your favorite? My favorite, it changes, it varies <laughs> <laughs> from, from week to week. But this week, my favorite is the Violette. Uh, which you see right here with the uh, the purple sugar, and it's a it's a chocolate mousse that's that has walnuts incorporated, uh, hash very very thinly, so it's uh, sweet, but the the nuts make it uh, less sweet than a truffle. We're gonna try some chocolates here and mm -hmm. make Jordan try some chocolates. <laughs> Classic truffle uh, chocolate mousse made with cream, butter, and. Uh, the covered chocolate, the chocolate is uh, Guayaquil, so it's 67% uh, cocoa. Enjoy! Thank you! <laughs> mm. <laughs> it melts right away. Is it good? <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Okay, I have to try this. It is <laughs> so good. I have to try one. See, we didn't make... Mm. Isn't that good? <laughs> That is amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> it makes you instantly happy. But you know what? A good quality chocolate, you don't feel that you need to eat 10 or 15 to be, to be satisfied. You could eat 30 pieces too. <laughs> <laughs> and they're absolutely beautiful. They're beautiful. They're like little treasures. But you, it's also fascinating to see how different people will eat, like everyone will go for a different one in each box. Absolutely. And some of them will take a little bite when and just write, some exactly will just pop we'll it in and close their eyes. And Would you like to see in the back? I find it very interesting. Oh, absolutely, thank you. How lucky Production. are we? Okay, so we're going to go take a look in the back. The chocolate is tempered by someone who has learned the artful skill of doing so by hand. They rely on the sensation, the heat, and the texture to know when it's ready. They still use their original gas ranges. Their usual repairman had to specifically train a newer generation of repairmen to know how to work with these old classics. Moi, 
Et euh, c'est écrit crème érable, crème coco. Ici, on a la crème menthe. Et ce qu'on fait, c'est qu'on empêche. Oh, wow! Comme ça, chacun oh. des, des différentes formes. Et là, une fois qu'on a fait notre fondant, on va rajouter de la menthe, on va, ou bien on va rajouter euh, du sirop d'érable. Et c'est en rentrant en contact avec le chocolat, au saussage et avec le temps, que la crème à l'intérieur va ramollir. These chocolates I've known before, they're, they're okay. famous in Montreal, okay. but to go back to see the history, the secret, how it's done, unbelievable. And here's our little goodie no. bags. Oh. <laughs> Crispette. Oh, okay, perfect. Gone. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> And there it goes. I can tell you that that's my favorite type of chocolate. So thank you so much, Jordan, for being with us today and for coming. Did you enjoy it? Thank you. It was amazing. Good. You like the chocolates? I love the chocolates. <laughs> thank you so much to uh, Stéphanie at Chocolat André. That was very nice of you. Thank you for your warm welcome. And happy Valentine's happy Day, Happy Valentine's everyone. Day. Au revoir.